to Elizabeth and Elizabeth. Thank you for being so good to me. I know this must be rough for you. For better or for worse, that was the deal. Hmm. So it's a little worse right now. That just means the good times will make it that much better. Come on. Get in bed. Okay. <laughs> See? I'm better already. <clears throat> in bed with my husband again. Thank you for being so patient. Patience was always my strong suit. You just don't remember. Maybe someday. Yeah, hope so. Just don't dream about any more of these Port Charles babes, okay? My wife could get jealous. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I won't be having any more dreams tonight. I'm wide awake after that last one. I think I know exactly how to tire you out. No matter what problems we had, money, work, all the stupid little things. Did I mention money? Yes, you did. <laughs> Once we hit the bedroom, we shut the door and leave all that on the other side. And then, later, after lying together naked in the dark, we were at our best. We believed we could conquer anything. So, what do you say? Don't. So come on, Jake. It's been a long time for us, and I miss my husband. And hey, maybe we'll shake a few memories loose. Yeah, um... I'd like to wait until we know each other a little bit better. Said no husband to his wife, ever? I'm sorry, but if I'm going to make love to my wife, I don't want it to be... You don't want it to be what? Like having sex with a stranger. You deserve better than that. Listen to you. Saying just the right thing. Even now. I'm sorry. I know, don't, don't. Apologize. Again. Like, ever. These are unusual circumstances. Yeah, a little bit, huh? And we have plenty of time to get reacquainted. Years and years. Years and years.